Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here, and welcome back to another video. So we're back to this. i um, got to try to kill Black Lightning again with Beast Boy. We only need one. I mean, we need two things to happen. First of all, Manta needs to die. Second of all, Blue Be uh, Beast Boy needs to, to trigger infinite power and keep it up. If those two conditions are met, we're going to be fine here. But it's a bit too much to ask already. We got... Uh, level 8 pop and level 8 north snow globe so let's see how it goes because last time it went absolutely terribly and the main problem is i can somewhat control a chaos tagging thing I, I can manage it i can be like okay here i need i need to do this in order to make sure that um, my beast boy doesn't get hit like i can coordinate the decisions i'm actively making but the the fact that we get clones summoned in just adds an additional factor to this. That they can't really control that much. Okay, let's block here for a bit. Oh, what? How, how did he not get hit by that? I think we got this. Please don't tell me he's stun immune. Oh, we got this, we got this, we got this, boys. We are on, we are so on. I'm so hyped to get this. Uh, super move? We're gonna sit at 36 combo, because we, we can't allow him any chance to do a super move. I don't think we're gonna kill this, because usually I have a lot more passive stats on Beast Boy than I have right now, and they have a Silver Bane. And Silver Bane is very important because I have no gears on the Beast Boy in this camp, I forgot to show you, but I'm gonna do that after the video. So all the crit chance we have is gonna be coming from the Talons, and they're not epic, okay? They are rare Talons. So yeah, crits are gonna be just, just a happy coincidence in this match. It's just, just a happy little event. They're not something we're expecting. Let's let's put it that way. And yeah, I'm just hoping to put him in range to be able to clear this with something. What exactly is gonna depend on how much health he's left with? Because worst case scenario, we have to drop Batman on the ground. Best case scenario, uh, I don't know, Puppet's gold black item is gonna be enough. I mean, best case scenario, we kill him, but I'm not sure that's gonna work. But yeah, we get the very good start. This is a fight that is gonna be crazy, not difficult, but ass cheeks clenching moments, if, if that makes any sense at the start, because you, you, you don't know if you're gonna have a good time or not. But as soon as you get that infinite power, unless you're very, very dumb and misguided, as I have been quite a few times in the past with puppet characters, you're gonna be fine. Like, the only way you can lose the match at that point is when building for super move you uh, randomly lose infinite power. You're, you're, you're kind of done at that point. Oh, also, something that really sucks. Again, this should not happen with Beast Boy, generally speaking, but if you're having a opponent that lags like crazy, a Beast Boy with Puppet will not be able to interrupt the enemy from doing super move. So if that's the case, this will not be working for you. Ah, 200. Oh, oh, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of help left. We might have to drop... Uh... Or we can drop League of Arc and try to keep two characters alive. That's, that's also an option. Ah, let's see. Oh, by the way, he is indeed immune to stuns. We we just got lucky that Beast Boy managed to stun him, I guess. Okay, so you have Flash with Snor Snow Globe. We got EPI with uh, Dark Metal cards, and we got Joker with uh, Snor Snow Globe as well. Uh, Flash actually called. Yeah, he's got gears removed. So plan is Flash dies. We get a bit of a damage buff from that on Joker. So he's gonna be dealing a decent amount of damage, even with North Snow Globe, EPI is gonna deal a decent amount because she's got the Dark Metal cards. And we have those two characters that we're gonna keep alive and cycle between them. Not even sure if that's optimal, might have wanted to go for a setup where I only keep EPI alive, I guess. But this should work too. Because in theory there's not much of a reason for Joker to stay alive. 
other than the fact that it's inconvenient to kill him with a level 7 or snow globe equipped. Okay, EPI dealing some decent damage to start off with. Yeah, I think we're gonna have no trouble here. That was a little super move. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, Joker got saved by the by the tag out there. Looks like it's not that hard to get him killed actually. If he does a special too, because we don't have dolph resistance. Get, get away from me. Bro, he combo interrupted me. He, he straight up combo interrupted my ass. Okay, kill the clone actually. You're, you're gonna give Joker a bit more damage. He's not gonna kill the clone by the tab. The clone gets tagged out. Uh, okay. Bad tagging for API there. I need to be careful so that she doesn't get killed. Oh, oh, she got killed. Oh, we can't, we're in trouble here. We're in big trouble here because Joker has officially lost his dot damage capabilities. Uh, we might still have enough damage. I, don't, I, I have no idea how much health this man has, but if I continue to play this, I mean, if I play this well from this point on, because yeah, getting EPI killed is not like we played it well so far. Oh, though he's got super move. Do I have one more clone? I think. Come on, buddy. How much health do you have left? I have no energy to continue this. Oh, I didn't die though. And now we're gonna kill because of North Snow Globe, so that's great. Come on. There we go. There we go. Joker saves the day without dot damage. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to other bosses. Okay, let's see if we can actually kill the other bosses, because uh, over here I can use um, Batman the John Robin King, over here I can use uh, um, Raven and Raiden, and over here I can use a percentage shell team and then use the Batman Ninja team with Puppet, so let's see how that plan goes. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, did I, hold on, let me check if I equipped artifacts actually. Okay, good thing I quit it because I had no artifacts equipped. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get this going now because we're properly set. We got God here on Batman the Drowns, Puppet at level 8 on Robin King and Norse Snow Globe at level uh, 8, I think. We need to be careful with this man because he does a lot of damage and he starts with enough power to do a special that randomly killed me a few times. I think once I had Gearless Beast Boy fight begins, he gets hit with a special Q. He blocks it and he dies. Okay, Robin King there, trigger infinite power. Managed to combo and chop him somehow. Now let's deal some percentage all damage. Okay, he can die if he wants to. That's fine. It's not fine that I got the Green Lantern tag then. Got blind still, so that's nice. Super move. Bro, as soon as I tag him, as soon as I tag him, we get, we lose infinite power. Damn it. Now we get it and we're gonna lose it in a second. My bad. It's, it's okay. We don't take that much damage. So Battle of Drone is dealing some pretty damn decent damage because God Killer is stealing a lot of attack from this man because he's got a lot of attack. And now it's 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 back to having a good time. Hmm. 
Yeah, he might be dead. This activation. Probably. Yeah. There we go. That's one boss down we have. Uh, hopefully, two more to go. Alright, so here we have Twin Blades on my boy uh, Raiden. And we got Raven here in Classic Wonder Woman. Pretty much the best setup I can give him. And let me let me vibe check again to just make sure he is not immune to armor pierce because uh, that would be a little bit of a problem, obviously. But yeah, let's get this going. Raven in there. Get the darkness maxed out as quickly as possible. Okay, darkness again, Raven back in, now we can actually super move with him without being at the very high risk of losing darkness. Seeing some pretty decent numbers. Get his ass back in the corner. Bro, it was so nice, it was so much more damage, I just realized it now when we had Dark Metal cards that also gave me passive stats because just equipping that on Raven and guaranteeing Graydon crits even for a limited time was quite impactful actually. Raven back in. Oh, oh, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up, I don't deserve to one-shot this, though I probably still will. But yeah, I messed up the Raven Darkness. My bad. Okay, Raven back in, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy, I'm so sorry. Now is the last minute, so... We don't really struggle with power train. Used to struggle whenever the update got released and it was only power training on swipes, but now power training on every single hit as long as we have the combo is gonna be enough. We just deal a little bit less damage when we first tag in. Is there still power that needs to be drained? I mean stolen actually, but doesn't really matter. But yeah, we kill him 26 seconds left. I do not deserve this one shot at all. Uh, but yeah, let's move on. Now, okay, so here we're first gonna drop the percentage health boys and hopefully get this man low enough so he gets killed by uh, Puppet Fit and Ninja. We get sort of Salvation on this man or Snow Globe on this man and another Nora Snow Globe on this man. Uh, so let's get this going. I'm obviously not gonna have enough time to deal the percentage health damage for every single character in this team, but the more the better. This kind of relieves some of the pressures of having to do extremely well with the uh, Destro clones. Okay, now let's tag this man in to, build him to do the rest of his percentage health damage and build some of combo for them collapse. Okay, that's the final form active. Super move. Get close a bit. A real nice touch on the um, gear system for Silver Batman is that as soon as his armor starts glowing, the bat rings that he throws also start working. Though nobody's really using ranged attacks. That's that's kind of the problem because they suck. But damn, it looks cool. It definitely looks cool.
Okay, let's heal some power. Uh, oh, oh boy, that, that was my bad. Somehow we stun resisted there, which is great. Let's push him back to the corner. Okay, now I'm a bit more comfortable allowing him to kill me. Kill me. Thank you very much. Now let's see what we can get out of this clone. I'm not sure how much damage I'm taking when blocking. Uh, not that much, so we can keep him in the corner for a bit. I need to get everything I can out of this clone, because the next clone is probably not going to have a good time, because this is a Batman character, and what he can effectively do is kill my Deathstroke with the first two parts of a special uh, two, and then this, the clone lands right on the stun, and that's not fun. But yeah, this clone is not going to live much longer. Okay, let's tag base Deathstroke in. Yeah, ex that's exactly what happened. That is exactly what happened. The Destro got the kill. That's why I also like to do the um, Destro percentage all damage before getting the clones in. Because once you're starting to get the clones in, you have absolutely no guarantee base Destro will ever be alive again. Because you can just get killed on Tagging. Yeah, there was no percentage shell damage left on this man, but we had some time to spare. But I think we did pretty well. If this is... I, I think this is at least 1.5. Almost. Almost 1.5, but looks like this is probably going to be in range for the uh, Batman Ninja team to clear this. And for the last fight, we're going to try to kill this man with Lord Joker with Puppet. Batman Ninja Grods and Batman Ninja Robin here. So let's get this going. We should definitely have enough damage unless I mess up and, and die, which is a possibility always. Okay, gap close a bit. Gap close again. Okay, that's infinite power. Let's see if we get the blind effect. If we do, it's it's the perfect run. Yep, this is perfect. The damage is a bit on the low end of things for now. That's kind of weird. I'm pretty sure I equipped all the passive stats, hopefully. Oh, oh boy, I forgot about super move. Yeah, that could have been bad, but thankfully we survived it. And because we survived it, I think we do have all the passive stats. Oh, his attack was reduced. I didn't really get to see the damage number done on Joker by the super move. Oh, yeah, I think we're fine. We're reaching 3.6 on the big value on the third special. All the way to 4 pump. Yeah, we're good. We, we have all the passive stats guaranteed. I guess at the start we just didn't get to see the values with the full stacks of damage against target that we can have at once. So yeah, that was probably the case. I would say we kill this. I, I would definitely say we kill this. It's gonna take some time, but with a bit of work and effort we're gonna kill him. And yeah, with the boss Mr. Freeze is up next. And I'm gonna probably do a video on that tomorrow, and since uh, on the last video I kind of showed you the more accessible and probably what a lot of people are gonna do way of dealing with him, which is Raven with King, with Twin Blade on King, and you do your best to dodge the bombardments or you can have Raven instead of King. So it's not that hard of a boss in the first place, but I guess for the secondary gun we can do like the Puppet League of Anarchy, because if you're spamming with Puppet Zekana, then what you're gonna get is um, also constant burning and not allowing him to do bombardments. But yeah, we'll see what we do tomorrow about that, but for now, this man, this man is so dead. We're gonna have quite a bit of time left on our hands, 37 seconds. Like, yeah, this thing can probably go maybe all the way up to 600 mil. 
But yeah, all that being said, thanks so much for watching. Like the video if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!